Hey, I heard you're in Illinois. I keep forgetting you haven't gotten your permit yet, so I'll, I'll come there and pick you up here in a bit. I'll pick you up in the Lambo. Just look for the, the red car. So that was AP Basson. He's in Illinois for some reason, so we're going fishing. <laughs> Just picked up uh, Stinky McGee. We were gonna originally go fish this, this, this like really low key, super mega private stone quarry, but Perry came up with an audible. It's gonna work. We're gonna do a challenge today. Challenges are always fun. It's just a change of pace rather than just going out and just banging your head against a wall at a random pond, which I've been doing for the past week. Where did you want me to go? Legit as soon as we got here. The moment we pulled up to the lake, it starts raining. All right, well, we're here, but I don't know how much fish we're gonna be able to do. Should we check the radar? You got a radar on it? Nope. Okay, so it's Peric and I fishing today. If you guys don't know who Peric is, he's the little guy that likes to fish with lettuce. But we're gonna be doing a challenge, like I said earlier. So it's 4.39 right now, we're gonna fish until dark. That's how long the challenge is gonna last. We've got about like three hours, three and a half hours. We're only allowed two rods. One spinning each, and then whatever other rod we wanna choose, right? So anyway, on the spinning rods, we're gonna rig up some sort of rig with these little tiny hooks right here. These are size 14 mosquito hooks. I don't know if you guys can even really see well, that. Well, it's, dri it's not drizzling anymore. It's raining. It's raining. Let's hope this rain just passes or we'll figure something out to film today, but these are the hooks that we're gonna be using. These are really, really tiny. Look at that little hook. I'm gonna have to zoom in on it. Hold on, give me a second. That's how small that hook is. Oh God. Look at that. <laughs> Idea. So the reason why we kind of want to do this is a it's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be fun But the other reason is because long long time ago Perry and I and another friend watched this video by Aaron Martins How he talks about how he uses a hook that is no joke even smaller than this size 14 mosquito and that it's like His go-to hook for drop shot fishing. So we're gonna kind of put that to the test today You're gonna to play the video right small hooks work better most of the time But this one's really cool. Check it out. I don't know if you can pick it up or not. This is a, the R17B by Gamagatsu. Just the way he acts, the way he, he talks. He drops it. Don't drop it. <laughs> Oops. Back warehouse is my favorite, my favorite place to shop. Las Vegas, favorite place to stay or something. <laughs> it's hilarious. We're getting really wet out here, guys. I'm getting rigged up right now. I'm gonna start with eight pound test, but I feel like that's gonna be too heavy for getting getting through the actual like line tie of the hook. You guys, you guys know what I'm saying? Why is it raining? Why does this always happen to us? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> don't break that one. Look at this, like, what, what do you got going on here? <laughs> What'd you do to my setup already? I'm really wondering what-, what Did like, you honestly do that already? Is this one of those like, is this why you haven't caught any fish in your last couple vlogs? Because my rods look like this? Yeah. Yes. That and I only throw jigs and frogs since I were done. <laughs> and my spinner rods look like that, so. Yeah. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, precipitation coming from the, uh, the the sky. So right now we're currently waiting it out. I don't know how long did you say this is gonna last. Okay, well that looks terrible. Chase the storm away. Yeah. You wanna go up north? Looks like Antioch's not getting hit. This is your fault. Ready to fish now. The rain is slowed down to the point where we could take out the GoPros. I'm definitely gonna put this away though, that's for sure. Oh, there goes Peric. He's running because he takes these challenges very seriously. So here's how this works. Each angle is allowed two rods. I picked a frog and stick and of course the micro rod. If you catch one on the frog and stick, it's one point. It doesn't matter the size, just if you catch one bass, it's one point. If you catch one on the micro stick, it's three points. So while you don't have to use the micro stick, you get more points if you catch a fish on it. You guys get what I'm saying here? So that right there is a challenge for today. The loser buys winner lunch. And that's about it. Let's catch some fish. You catch any yet? What? Did you catch any yet? Have you caught any? I'm seeing like so many little bluegill and everything, but no bass. What? Yeah. Okay, we are gonna... Switch spots now. Go to a spot that we have caught fish in the past. We've caught fish here, but this wasn't like our first choice. So we're gonna jump on over to spot number two. All right, we're at the second stop now. 
cage is on the other, on the other bridge. There's one on the micro. On the micro. <laughs> yeah, he's in. That's three points. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually caught one on this hook. He's hooked pretty good. No, he was hooked good. No, it was like right at the roof of the mouth. It was actually pretty decent. So that's my first fish today. Three points right there. Sweet. Oh, I just turned on my camera. Perrick's got one. Oh, came off. Wow, guys, I actually caught a fish in today's video. Is that just not the most insane thing on earth? How many points do you get if you catch a carp? Oh my God. What the That was crazy. Oh, now he's pissed. God, these bees. I swear, dude. Yeah, it was sitting on my rod the entire time. And I was like, what the hell is like scratching me? Big old bee. Am I on like a hornet's nest or something? Oh my God. Oh dude, I'm stepping on a hornet's nest. Okay. They keep coming in. They're ground hornets. Oh damn. Everywhere. You should have seen it. I stepped in, I stepped like on this hole and they started coming out from the ground. <sighs> My micro hook rig just failed me miserably. Ah, oh, I can't believe I just got stung. God, oh, there's ground hornets everywhere. Did you see him? No. Oh, he's about to call my shirt. There's ground hornets everywhere. My big old boots just keep waking them up. Oh, dude, right in the neck too. That's just awesome. Oh, it's getting worse. I think I'm gonna die. Oh no, sounds like, oh no, it's three to three now, guys. I gotta really pick up my pace. Got another one? Yep. No way. perrick has got another one. Six to three. I gotta get it rigged up again. My, my drop shot's all messed up. And now I'm rigged up, okay. I'm, uh, I'm back in the game now. Oh no, Perrick's got one on the jig. So while Perrick's messing around on that bank, I'm gonna jump over to a spot that has produced in the past. We'll see if it produces today. If that doesn't work, then yikes, I don't know. I'm gonna have to plan Z it. Oh, what are you doing? Look at this. Spot burner 101 over here. Come over here and watch this. Go right next to the shoreline. Swim my jig above the shoreline. Dude, it's like an inch there. You know that, right? And then catch nothing. What happened? Oh my. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh wow, the water's really pumping out over there. He's probably gonna start catching them on that spot. You're gonna start catching them there. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, stay on, stay on. Six. Six for me, whoo, look how he's hooked. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's just barely, barely hooked. Number six, whoo, it's getting close. The sun's getting down, guys. The sun is going down. You don't even need something to hook with these micro, micro mosquitoes. It's just like pressure, and that's it. Getting close now, guys. <laughs> There's nine. Perry's got nine now. He just killed. Yeah, that's a dead fish penalty though. He's got it. Oh my God! He came off. He came off. He had it. He had it. He had it. He had it. Okay. Okay. Focus. Focus. You got this. You got this. You can't let AP beat you, man. You got this. He's got it. He's got it. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, I saw him eat it as soon as it hit the water. He might be a decent fish. Okay. Here we go. That's nine for me. Whew. I think Perrick and I are tied up if he hasn't caught one over there yet. Nice fish. Hey, I've got nine right now, bud. Nine. We're tied. Here we go, we're tied. Sun is going down. It's getting close, it's getting close. No, it came off! That would have been, that would have been 12. That would have been 12. You gotta be kidding me. There's another one. Got him. Got him. Got him. Come here. Come here. Come here. No! Oh, that was 12. I pulled up on him. 
Oh my God, I hooked two bass and they both came off. Oh my God, I, I should not have pulled up on that fish. That was so dumb of me. I had 12 hooked twice. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Oh my God, I messed up so bad. I should not have lifted that fish up. What was I thinking? Oh man. Oh, this is not good. Here comes the rain too. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I just got bit. Oh, I had him. I had him. They seem to be pretty close to the bank. I got this. I'm so, I still got this. Update. Rain stopped. No way. Perrick's got one. He's got 12. I gotta catch one. Gotta catch one of those drop shot. Yeah. Give me a second. Dude, I've hooked so many fish here and they all come off. Get in here. Yes! 12-12. 12-12. How much time we got? Like 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit less, a little more. Here we go. 12-12. It's tied up. Okay, okay. Get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. God, this is insane. Okay, catch another one, dude. Come on, catch another one. There he is. There he is. There he is. Fifteen. Fifteen. Woo! Oh, oh, fifteen. Oh my god, he broke the line right at the bank. That's fifteen points. That's five fish on the drop shot. Oh my gosh, there it is, folks. I can't believe this. Okay, I gotta get back in the water. I'm stoked. I'm so stoked. That fish just popped off. There's no more. What? There's no more. They're out. They're gone. We're out. Do you have any baits? What do you have in there? Speed cross? Give me some. That's all you got? That's all we have. Okay, so now we're uh, drop shotting with speed crawls because we're literally out of drop shot baits. I didn't bring any today, so yeah, that's what we're doing. This should work though. I thought the fish broke my line. It just popped off of the hook. They come unhooked with this little mosquito hook so easily for obvious reasons, but it's just like still so intense. Wow, this is intense, guys. This is super intense. Okay, here we go. Back to the current. Oh, there's one. He's all, I had him, I had him, I had him. On, on, I'm on again. On the speed craw, drop shot in the speed craw, come here, come here. Oh, my hook is so bent, stay pinned. The key is just to keep pressure on him. That's a decent fish. This is where things get tricky. Oh, I got him. That's 18. That right there is 18. <laughs> I cannot believe that fish was hooked perfectly too. Oh my gosh, oh, look at that. I know you guys can barely see it. We have four more minutes left. This is my sixth fish and Peric's down by two. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, got four minutes left. Oh no, I'm out of baits. I'm like legitimately out of baits. Oh no, he gave me that one speed crawl. That was it, oh, I got some in my pocket. What's this? Oh yes, I've got some in my pocket. I got a fluke, I've got a fluke. That was, oh my God, this is gonna be clutch. I thought I was out of baits. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's finish him off. Perk's gonna get three more points in order to beat me. I've got 18 right now. I think he said he's got 16, which means he really definitely picked up the, the speed there. There's another one. I got one. Oh, that was a big one. Okay, well I gotta go to the frog now, I have no choice. Two minutes left and I lost that big one. That would've just been a perfect fish to just clinch this. I'm so salty. Minute and 35 seconds to tie me up or to beat me. Oh man, this is the most intense fishing challenge on earth. <laughs> Honest to God, we've, we've filmed so many of these and this is probably the one that's got me on edge. Time! That's it! I'm not gonna lie when I say that was the most intense challenge I think I've ever done on this channel. Peric, okay, so we started all the way over there. Peric weaseled his way all the way over here. I saw you running. I kept yelling your name. I was like, where are you? And then I just see this little head just start bobbing over the reeds. I'm like, dude, it's over. <laughs> any thoughts? If you want to watch the most intense, like, last five minutes of any tournament ever, just literally go to my video. I oh, he just had to plug himself. He just had no. to plug himself. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You can watch this footage. You don't understand. I'm running down this wall. <laughs> At one point, I set the hook. The fish just flew into the sand trap. You caught it in the sand trap? <laughs>
You're kidding. No, I miss so many. I thought there was no way, dude. I thought I had it. Did you hear me yelling out? 16, yeah, you were 17. screaming. You're like 16, 17. I was like, oh my god. So as you guys know, after these challenges, we, uh, we usually end with some sort of meal, and that meal is usually paid by the loser. This time I didn't lose. But if you guys notice, a lot of our challenges are fairly close. Like that MTV challenge was close. This one was by a point, by one point. We made it to a smash burger. That's, that's what we're gonna be eating today. Uh, but Peric's pulling this. I lost my lost my wallet BS now, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to buy for both of us. He loses his wallet more than anybody I know on this on this entire earth. Filming goes, fishing goes, and just like just the quality of the day's been is just so much better. Free meal, caught some fish, gonna end the day on a nice burger thanks to this guy right here. That was the best burger I think I ever had, mainly because he paid for it. It's been such a good day. It's not my car. <laughs> Tomorrow I plan on fishing. Uh, Fishing again. I'm gonna try to wake up early. I told Perry I was gonna wake up early this morning. Ended up waking up 12 p.m. Hey, burger. <coughs> now I'm gonna call. <clears throat> All right. I now have to drop uh, this little dude off. Anything you want to say before I sign off? What was your favorite moment today, Perry? My was favorite it, was moment it, was when I was thought it when I had you, it. Was it when you pulled out your wallet and you gave the lady money for your burger and my burger? Because that was my favorite moment of the day. My favorite part was when I. Uh, thought I had it in the bag and then you somehow pulled a fish with the speaker. It's always somehow. It's just, you know what, for me, I know how I did it. It's not really a somehow. It's just pure you get lucky. straight skill. I'm going home. I'm going to drop AP Bassin off because like I said, he does not have his permit yet or at least didn't bring it with him from Alabama so I have to, you know, drive him around everywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is actually, you know what, can I tell the folks something? This As is, always. Wait, no, stop, stop. I need to tell them something. This, okay. Perk's drones back there getting soaked. <laughs>